Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create a counter project with React and I'm going to use a Redux Toolkit as a state management. And the same thing I'm going to create with Vue.js and I'm going to use uh, Pina for state management. So two counters, one with React and one with uh, Vue.js. So first let's create the React project and then the Vue.js. I'm going to open the Ubuntu here. I am inside the Windows machine. And here I'm going to say create a React app and I'm going to name it uh, my React counter. Okay, here we are. Now let's now CD in the project and I'm going to open the project with VS Code. So code dot And here we are. Let's run also the npm start here. And if I open the localhost 3000, we are going to have the React project here. Very good. Now the first thing, I'm going to open the terminal inside here and I'm going to install the Redux toolkit and also the React Redux. So let's say here npm install at redux.js slash uh, toolkit and also the react redux hit enter and let's close this one now open the app.js and I'm going to remove the header also here very good inside the source directory i'm going to create a new directory i'm going to name it app and inside here i'm going to create the store and i'm going to name it store.js and now let's import the configure store from the redux toolkit okay and let's export the const store which is going to be equal to the config store configure store and here we are going to add an object and the user which is going to be an object with all our stores right now we don't have any but let's leave it empty and we are going to create the store in seconds let's go first in the index.js because here now we need to provide the store to all the project for that we are going to import the store first let's import the store from app store and then let's import the provider from react redux and now let's wrap this so let's cut and let's say provider we need to add the store here which is going to be our store we have imported and paste down the app so now all the project have access to the store right now the store is empty but we are going to create right now so inside the source directory i'm going to create a new one and i'm going to name it counter and inside the counter, I'm going to create the counter slice.js. This is going to be the or store for the counter. So here I'm going to import first the create slice. So create slice from the Redux toolkit. And then let's create the initial state. So let's say const initial state is going to be equal with an object and we need only the count which is going to be initially zero and then let's export export 
const counter slice counter slice is going to be equal with create slice okay and inside now we need to add three arguments the name or parameters you can say which is going i'm going to name it a uh, count of the initial state which is the initial state we created and also the reducers and the reducers are the actions we need for this state so what we need we need the increment and decrement so let's say increment here and assign with an anonymous function state we are going to get the state and we are going to change that count so let's say state dot count plus equal to one and now the same thing but for decrement let's say decrement anonymous function we need the state here not plus but equal and let's say state dot count minus equal to one very good and now i'm going to export the increment and decrement and also export default of the counter slice reducer so let's say export const and i'm going to destruct the increment and also the decrement from from the counter slice dot actions because these are actions okay then let's export default the counter slice reducer counter slice dot reducer like this and now let's save and let's go in this store js and let's import that reducer so let's say here import the counter reducer so counter reducer from the counter slash counter slice and now in the reducer we need to add i'm going to name it counter and add the counter reducer we imported and now all the app has access to this state very good now in see inside this counter directory i'm going to create the component counter dot jsx and here i'm going to create the react arrow function component with export and inside the app i'm going to import that and add it here so let's import the counter and inside here just let's add that counter component like this okay and inside this we don't need the react we need to import first the use selector and use dispatch from react redux so import the use selector and also the use dispatch from the react redux and also the increment and decrement from the counter slice so import the increment and also the decrement from the counter slice we exported named export here very good and inside the counter now let's say const count and we need to get the count from the store and let's say equal with a use selector and say state here state dot counter 
dot count. Okay, so here we get the count. We have here the initial count, initial state. And now if I here, I'm going to add the H1 and say count. And just let's say for now as it is, and let's open the browser. Here we have the zero, count zero. Okay. And let me add some uh, styles here. Save, close here. And now if I open the browser, yeah, we have more. Very good. Okay, now here I'm going to create also the const dispatch. It's going to be equal with use dispatch. And now after the H1, I'm going to add a div. And inside this div, I'm going to add two buttons one for increment and one for decrement. So on click, let's call the dispatch and here we are going to call the increment action and let's say just plus copy and paste here minus and here we're going to call the decrement action and if i save yeah we have something like this and if i say plus okay minus okay so here in the React, we created the counter component, the counter slice, which is the counter uh, state and the base state store here. And inside the index.js, we provide that store here. Now let's work with the Vue.js. I'm going to close this and also let's open the terminal, terminate this and see the bug. And let's create the view counter now. Let's say create view up. And I'm going to name it my view counter view JavaScript. And let's see the now in the my view counter. And let's say npm install. And let's open this with a VS code. Okay, now let's run the npm run dev here. And let's open this in the browser. Copy and from here and paste that in. And we have the Vue.js. Okay, the first thing is to install Pinya. So let's open the terminal here and let's say npm install Pinya. Okay, let's close this. Now let's go inside the source directory main.js and we need to import the create pinya here. Import create pinya from pinya and now down there I'm going to create a constant and say pinya here which is going to be equal with the create pinya, not create app, create pinya like this and also let's create a constant for the app which is going to be able with the create app and here we need to add the app component and down there now here we provide the state like this we say app dot use and we add the pinya here Okay, and then down there we just say up mount like this. Save, close, and we are okay. Very good. Now let's go inside the app and I'm going to remove everything we have here and also everything we have inside the template and all the styles. 
like this inside the component so remove this okay first we need to create the store so inside the source directory i'm going to create new directory called app and then here the new file name it store.js the same thing we created in the react app now here i'm going to import the define store from pina import define store from pina and now let's export const use counter store it's going to be equal with define store and here we need to add the name and i'm going to name it counter and now let's add an object with a state and here we need to say uh, an object with count only the count state which is going to be initially zero then we have the actions and actions is named actions like this in the react we had uh, providers but here we have actions and now we need the increment action and decrement and let's say increment and we need to change the count and we access the count by saying this dot count and now we are going to say plus equal to one okay and also the decrement action and here we say this dot count minus equal to one and that's it let's save and let's create inside the component a new component and i'm going to name it counter dot view first let's add the script setup here and then the template okay inside here we need to import the use counter store from the app slash store like this and create a constant for the store which is going to be equal with use counter store like this and now we have access to also the count and also the increment and the decrement just by importing by saying one store equal to use counter store okay inside the template now let's add a div and inside the div i'm going to add h1 and display the count here and we can display the count by saying store dot count like this and if i save and let's go in the app and import that here import the counter import counter from components slash counter and inside the template let's add the counter self close save go in the browser and yeah we have the counter here very good now after this one i'm going to add a div the same we did in the react with two buttons add the button and say add click we are going to increment and we need to say here store dot increment like this we are going to point at the pointer to this uh, increment action and 
let's say plus here, copy and paste, minus, and here we need to call the decrement, not the call, but add the pointer to that decrement action. And if I save and go back, we have a buttons here, as you can see, if I click, okay. And I think now let's close this, close this, and close this, and I'm going to open like this, and why we, I don't open like this, and here I'm going to terminate the debug, and let's see the in the my React uh, counter. And I'm going to open also this with a VS Code. Now I want to show you here with a Vue.js, we created this app and store, the same thing we have here. Very good. Then we created the counter component. Instead in the React, we created a counter component and also the counter state. And inside the mind.js we define like this the state inside in the index.js in the react we imported the store and provider and we provide like this and then here we have the here we have the state for the i'm going to zoom it out like this, counter slice, and in the Vue.js we have like this. I think it's more simpler in the Vue.js, you can see. Here we just export the use counter store and import that, but here we export the increment, decrement, export the reducer, import the reducer in the mine store here and we define it here and then in the counter jsx we import the use selector and use this patch instead in the counter we just import the store directly and point to the count to the increment action and to the decrement action instead here we import the use selector use dispatch and we use the dispatch to call the increment and decrement action okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best